Um, we still have a lot to talk about, but before we get to any of that, Bunny. Yes. Uh, Maxwell, can you can you please lower it a little bit? You keep putting it up. You keep putting it up. What number is it at right now? Oh, oh wow, it's just a really loud show. Okay, never mind. Uh, so, Bunny, you you said you wanted to say something. Yes. Well, well, I wanted to I wanted to talk about something. Um, and okay. uh, mo- mostly this is to impress a new listener uh, or possibly ne- lose a new listener. Um, nice. Or, That's how we roll. Or, or keep that listener and lose all of our other listeners. Okay. Okay. So it's got a lot of potential is what I'm saying. Yeah. And I know even bringing up this topic drives Christians batshit. Yeah. You will see them get openly hostile with this one. And I'm into that, you know. Yeah. And and I got to light the joint to get into this because it's just that good. Gotcha. Gotcha. What? I remember way, way back somewhere around 2007 when I was still just stalking you back in those Me. days. Yes. Okay. And okay. reading your blog and all that, re- read your entire blog. Ah, um, Bella, you used to write in my blog. Oh, God. Yeah. You used to write in it. I, I, would, I would pop in. Oh, but Bella? Yes. Yes, yeah. totally. She wrote a couple of times. One time you said, like, my name is Bella, and I am six, and I hate ads. <laughs> and it's like, oh, that's so adorable, because I, like, I don't think of ads. But, yeah, I imagine if you were little and just discovering YouTube, yeah, I'd hate ads, too. <laughs> Freaking adorable. I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Bunny, continue. And I remember way, way back then... I remember when you were live tweeting your church visits. Oh yeah, I used to love that. <laughs> so this was that. this was even pre Churchless Sundays. Oh, the Churchless Sunday well, movie. Church. Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Okay, the so Sacramento was- Church. You remember when like the sticky noodles? Love those sticky noodles. I remember <laughs> it was stuff to write in. Mm-hmm. Your, um- oh yeah. And I remember one of your live tweets. <coughs> Sorry. Um <coughs> I remember one of your live tweets. You had said the pastor or whatever it was, um Grand Puba, I think maybe, uh had said that there is more evidence for the existence of Jesus than there was for Abraham Lincoln. Yes. Yes. Or possibly George Washington, but yeah, yeah. That was a big fucking lie. Yeah, no, of course it was. That was a big lie. You have the New Testament and these two other guys, Josephus, Josephus Flavius, whatever his last name is. I don't know. There's something about the the name Um, Flavius. Josephus Flava Flavius. Flava Flavius. Yeah. He used to wear a giant uh, 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 sand dial yeah. <laughs> around his neck. Mm-hmm. On a chain. Yeah. Yeah. His, his, his teeth were plated with wood. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, and Tassis. I think I said that. But Okay, then everything else that they claim is evidence are books that are written about those. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. what's what's what is your favorite book? My favorite book? Yes. Um My favorite book is probably Fun House by Dean Koontz. Fun House. Okay. By Ooh. Dean Koontz. Who who was your favorite character in in that? Um, the retarded monster that the Carnies owned, uh, okay. that was secretly having sex with his own mom. 
Okay. So this would be like if you wrote a book report on that. It would have to be a very lenient school, but yes. And and that book report would be evidence for the retarded monster. Yes. Okay, so in the future, so in way in the future, everyone is talking about how the retarded monster is real. Yes. And they're like praying to the retarded monster and says, there is more proof that the retarded monster in the funhouse is real than there was ever proof of this so-called Donald Trump. Yeah. 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 That's pretty solid. That's pretty goddamn solid. Mm-hmm. Now, um, the first books written in the New Testament uh, was were all the Paul letters? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just the letter that one guy wrote to a group of people. Yeah. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians. Can I start writing letters to just people? Steve's third letter to Tucson. Yes. And it's just like, hey, Tucson, stop sucking. Love, Steve. <laughs> I didn't know you could write letters to just groups yeah. like that. Yeah. And if you read the letters of Paul, okay? Yeah. He he is he never mentions any of the things that Jesus did while he was here. Yes. He has a more risen Christ thing going on. Yeah. And there's a big reason why he didn't <clears throat> write anything about the time that Jesus was there's a reason why he didn't he didn't write about the loaves and the fishes or anything like that and discuss it. And do you know what do you know what that reason more was? No. Those books hadn't been fucking written yet. Nice. Okay. That's yeah. why. Yeah. Okay. I also I also have it on good authority that that Paul wrote a number of other letters, but that they didn't make it to the book. Like my favorite is Paul's nineteenth letter to the Corinthians, yeah. which starts off. So I see you bitches didn't write me back yet. <laughs> Do you know which one is my favorite? No, the one he wrote to Penthouse. Nice. Yeah. Well, I never thought this would happen to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I was, a, I was an apostle at a small Midwestern college. So, so yeah, nice. So Paul, who is, I mean, you could really consider him the founder of the church. Yeah, you know, um, didn't see fit to mention any of that. You know, didn't really see fit to mention, you know, by the way, the dude raised the dead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Paul was Paul was the founder of the church, but to be fair, John wrote the better songs. Yes. Oh, Bella got it. <laughs> she laughed at that. <laughs> and... Okay, and where <laughs> I said, and where was I going? Um, yes, I'm going back to Josephus. Um, Josephus was a Jewish historian. Yeah, about seventy-ish years later, <coughs> after Christ. Okay, huh? and he wrote about he wrote about quite a few Jesuses. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So cuz cuz now there are questions about where the Jesus story comes from and that issue isn't settled or anything like that. Frankly, none of this is settled. It's still under academic debate. But the debate is getting really heated. Um yeah. So, so there's there's a lot of there's a lot of different opinions where the actual story of Jesus came from. Um, there is a 
a um like chapter in Josephus that is very much like the Jesus we are familiar with, and I'll get back that to that in a second. Uh, but he also wrote about uh, Jesus Ben Kenobi. Okay. Um, oh, okay. And Jesus Ben Kenobi, it wasn't really Kenobi, but I forget what it is. Um, yeah. He was a what would you he was a con man like Jesus, like the Jesus we know. Uh he was a con man that um was around at the at the first temple fall. The first fall of the temple, which was approximately uh, uh somewhere around one hundred BC. Okay. Okay. So like a hundred years before the Jesus we know was was born. Um, and he walked around with a bunch of dudes and he talked some stuff and he got in trouble with the Jews and he also got in trouble with the local government and they stoned him to death. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then that other, like, like if I handed you a Stephen King book that you had never heard of before, okay, I just handed you a random book. I'm pretty sure you would be able to say, oh, is this Stephen King? You know, it, once you started reading it, you know? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Because that's just how writing is. You write, you have a particular writing style. That's how it sounds like you. You write a lot. You have a very distinct style. Somebody can hand me a a a a blog post that I had never seen before. Okay, and didn't have your name on it or anything, and I would know it was you. Yeah. You know. So when we get to the chapter in Josephus that is about the Jesus we know, it really looks like the guy who wrote Luke wrote it. <clears throat> really? Yes. Okay. Because it, 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 so. it does not have any of the things that... It, it, it has no Josephus style. Yeah. It's not the Josephus. Josephus yeah, it's not Josephus yeah. enough. Yeah. Okay. And it looks an awful lot like the Gospel according to Luke. So yeah. whoever whoever wrote the Gospel according to Luke probably wrote that chapter in Josephus. Yeah. Maybe he was copying it, you know, because books needed, <clears throat> needed to be handwritten for every copy, you know. So that's how things like yeah. that happen. Yeah. Okay. And again, this is this is a huge subject. I'm just trying to hit the highlights. Yeah, I gotcha. There is also no secular evidence found corroborating the Jesus story. Okay. Okay, you know, I, I, I mean... Understood. Hmm? No, I understand that. I know what you're, what you're talking about. Yeah. We know Re 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 Al Weird Al Yankovic <clears throat> exists because, you know, you can read about him in the newspaper, you can read him about him in you know, Entertainment Weekly. Um, you can read about him in the National Enquirer. You know, there's corroborating evidence for his existence. Yeah. Okay. There's none of that for Jesus. The All there is is either Christian or Jewish writing. I feel that whenever 
someone does find like shocking proof of the existence of Jesus or shocking proof of the existence of God, it is always followed with, yes, we have proof, proof of the existence of Jesus. Yeah. And for only forty nine ninety five. <laughs> Like, if anyone tells you that God exists, it's going to be followed up with a price tag. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. Those are the only people who have 100% proof. To be fair, to be fair, when I dated a Mormon, she did repeatedly tell me, and all of this stuff is true, you know, they have found the gold tablets. (laughs) (laughs) So all of this is true. And I'm like, oh, great, the gold tablets. They did find those? I mean, they really did? Oh, it's in, Salt- it's in a temple in Salt Lake City? Great. And I'm sure that one day South Park will teach me what the fuck the gold tablets are. Oh, those are the tablets. Right that, now, I have that, no idea what the hell you're saying. Those, those were the tablets uh, that Joseph Smith found and an, an- angel translated for him, um, uh-huh. which became the Book of Mormon. Yeah. Basically, that's that. Yeah. yeah. No, I know so, it now, thanks to South Park. I'm just saying I didn't know it at the time. I have no idea what the hell she's saying. So, according to the Bible, Jesus was pulling in some pretty decent crowds. You know? Yeah. You you had told the you had told the loaves and fishes story. That was a big fucking yeah. crowd. You know? Yeah. It, it's it's no Lollapalooza crowd. But it's a big crowd, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's and it's a good example of the Christian miracle and the Jewish miracle. The Christian miracle of this man was a rotting corpse and Jesus brought him to life, and then the Jewish miracle of they didn't think they'd have enough, but, but then they did. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Um, yeah. So this, like, like. There had to have been a woman somewhere writing a letter to her husband who was a Roman centurion. And, you know, because cause really, the, the Israelites and the people in, in the region where Jesus was, they are all peasants, you know? But Rome, yeah, fairly well literate, you know? Yeah. Um, so what you're saying is there had to have been at least one person who's like, "Love you, honey. See you soon." P.S. What do you know about this Jesus guy? You, well, I, I'm thinking more along the lines of, "Dear Flavius, I hate to have to tell you this, but our daughter has run off with that Jesus hippie freak that's been hanging around town." Yeah. That dirty liberal Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Because people were following him, according to the book. <clears throat> yeah. You know, so 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 nobody wrote that? Nobody wrote a letter like that that can be found? Okay? Yeah. And when Jesus died, if you remember your Bible, when Jesus died... Corpses got out of their grave and walked around Jerusalem. And nobody yeah. else mentioned that? <clears throat> Not one. Not a single person. I would think that that would be headline news. I would yeah. think I I would think that everybody would be talking about the day the dead got out of their graves and walked around. And with as big of a story as that would have been, somebody would have written that shit down. Yeah. And there's one story in the Bible that I know really well that it surprises me that that no one in Jerusalem at the time mentioned the fact that just pulling up into Jerusalem is this giant bus filled with hippies with tie-dye shirts who suddenly start singing Andrew Lloyd Webber musical numbers. I'm surprised that no one mentioned that in, the, in any of their, their writings. But wait. <clears throat> I've never seen a bus before, but there's yeah. one right there. Yeah. But yeah. wait, there's more. 
because there's a smoking gun. Okay. Okay. And keep in mind, man, I am just briefly glossing over this. Yeah. You know, yeah. there is so much more to this. <clears throat> but here comes the smoking gun. Okay. Okay. Why would they fabricate this guy? Why would somebody just flat out make this up? You know? Yeah. Because that seems a little odd, too, if you think about it. You know, you would have to think, you know, yeah. you would have to think that there was some origin to the legend. You know? You yeah. kind of assume that there was some kind of, you, you would kind of assume that Robin Hood is based on something. You know? Or King Arthur yeah. is based on something. You know? So why would they just make this shit up? Right. Why would they? And I will tell you why. Okay. Because of the that, ratings. The rating. Basically the ratings. Yes. At that time, the Jews were performing animal animal blood magic. Okay. Okay. You would have to go to the temple, and only the temple. Okay, you can't you can't go sacrificing to the high god in your backyard, you know, on the barbecue. You can't do that. So you would have to go yep. to the temple, and and slaughter something, so that blood atones you of your sins. And that's that's basically how you're saved at that time in the Jewish culture. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, even even the New Testament confirms that the temple was corrupted. Okay, the temple. That's where yeah. the money changers were that freaked Jesus out so much. <clears throat> you know. Like yeah. when Luke found out that Darth, Darth Vader was his father. You know, he went berserk, started throwing over the tables and beating people up and whipping them and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One thing in spe specifically, this, this outburst of violence that Jesus did not exhibit anywhere else in, in, in the Gospels. Yeah, yeah, except for that one part. Yeah, where he just went fucking berserk. Yeah. Okay. So, so the temple is corrupt. You know, the Pharisees and the Sadducees and all that. They, you know, they were greedy and they were taking money. And the people who had to come there to have their souls saved were having to pay higher fees for this. And Rome was involved and all kinds of shit. You know. It, I, I I am sure there is a present day analogy for that. I just can't come up with one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So now the the Jews who believe that it's corrupt, and the Jews who who are paying the the ever increasing salvation fees, they're not too happy about that. <coughs> okay. So okay. they have so they have to figure out a way for them to be saved without the temple. Okay. Okay. So it's like okay. Well, and let me do a brief stop over here before going on with that. Um Christianity is a mystery cult. Okay, that's that's yeah. its, that's its classification, you know. Yeah, like monotheistic, polytheistic, it's a mystery cult. Yeah, and mystery cults were big, big fads in the area at the time. Yeah, all of the religions were doing it. It was it was hot. Okay, and a mystery yeah. cult is basically. 
is basically you, well, much like today, back then, it, it would be like if you were born Jewish, you're just Jewish. If you're born this, then you're that. If you're born this, you're that. You, you, nobody joined a religion. Yeah, you were just born into it. Right. You you would you would not be able to convert to a religion. You were just born into it, and that's that. Mystery cults was a great, brand new, hot idea at the time. There would have been infomercials about it. Okay, and yeah. and in it in. A mystery cult, they basically give give you their pitch, you know? Yeah. Jesus, cool dude, came back from life, you know? Uh, give the pitch, and if you like that pitch, then you could join their church, okay? And then yeah. once, you, once you join their church, basically you are an, an initiate. And you are given the secrets and the mysteries of that church. Yeah. You know, so like you become a Christian and then you learn about speaking in tongues and then you learn about prophecy, you know? Yeah, like Scientology. Right, exactly. Right, right, right. Yeah, you learn about the Thetans here. You don't learn you don't learn about Xenu until the fucking end, which is hysterical. Yeah. Um yeah. So okay, so so that's, that's like it. I, learn, that's like you don't learn about heaven until you get to until you get to like level nine Christianity. Yes, exactly, exactly. So it's important to realize that they are a, a mystery cult, you know. So much much like pulp, pulp fiction that you were saying earlier, there there would have been a mystery cult that was a really big hit. And then you have all the knockoff mystery cults. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. So so it was a big thing in the area at the time, and that's why it's important, you know, because knockoffs. Um, yeah. So they have to figure out how to come up with a better blood magic salvation to replace their yeah. own and be able to get out from under the temple so yeah. they, they don't have to pay the fees anymore. So they're like, okay, well, you know, we're killing goats and stuff. Killing a human would be stronger. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got it. Even better. What if it was God? Well, hmm. that might be a little far. What if it was the son of God? But like God, he comes down and he's his son and it's complicated. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If we can kill the son of God, that would be some potent ass blood magic. Yeah. And we won't have to deal with the temple anymore. Huh. So they invent Jesus. And they most likely they most likely base that Jesus on Jesus Ben Kenobi 100 BC first fall of the temple. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's what Paul starts preaching about, and that's what that's what other people start preaching about. So it starts spreading around. Yeah, and there is no evidence of anybody who is actually there at the time at all. Like everybody yeah. actually heard about Jesus from somebody else. You know, and it's not like you yep. can it's it's not like you can Snopes it. You know, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. like wait, this is false. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna look up this Jesus's IMDb page and see what <laughs> yeah. else he's done. Uh huh. Yeah. 
Huh. Yes. So 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 that is that is the smoking gun because really how much sense does that make? You know? Yeah. Um I think that's it. I think that's all I got for now. Um Jesus. A, a, a lot of people different people are writing are writing about this. Uh my favorite and where I'm getting most of my information from is <coughs> is uh from a historian named Richard Carrier. Okay. Yeah. Um, kind of looks like Marjo Gortner. Oh. It's weird. <laughs> yeah. So, oh. so, so if, if anybody is interested in this, um, looking at you, Guillermo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Google, Google Richard Carrier. And nice. you'll find all this information. You'll find out who else is writing shit about it, too. Yeah. And to learn about this and other topics on the Pope on film, just Google that shit. <laughs> I, my mind goes to star, star, Starship Troopers. Would you like to know more? <laughs> <laughs> so That's... so that that is it. That is it. Well, that... Jesus, That's some pretty impressive shit there. Jesus, no such person. Yeah, no such person. Book of myths. Book of myths. Yes. Blood cults. Blood cults. Is, does that have anything to do with soul cooking? Because I don't know what soul cooking is. Soul cooking was soul cooking came up came up in in the elections in the campaign um because yeah, but what is it hillary clinton was invited to a soul cooking um it, it's a whacked out famous new york artist and they it, it's a dinner party she calls okay. it soul cooking because she's an artist yeah that's all it is. She she has a dinner party. She's a famous artist. She invites famous people. One of them was Hillary Clinton. People go. It's it's not a it's not a thing. Okay. <clears throat> well, I'll have to look into this. So I mean, I mean, it's exactly like it's exactly like you rent out a theater, you show movies, you call it at Woodstock. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a dinner party, she calls soul cooking. Okay. But well, but what you to... but what you can tell from her calling it soul cooking. She's got to be a prevent uh, 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 she she's got to be a pretentious cunt. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So well, I'll have to I'll have to look into this because apparently to Christian soul cooking is like the worst. I oh oh god no it's 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 Satan worship that's that's how that's how the right took it at the time, and that's how I that's how I heard about it. Yeah, it it, it was a it was a satanic ceremony. That's that's their yeah. narrative. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's, well, yeah, there's see, a lot of soul cooking going on. And, and how interesting is that? Okay, how interesting is that? They hear about soul cooking. That's what what they get out of it. Okay, I hear soul cooking. I get a wacky woman who can see your chakras. I get um, Snoop Dogg has made a movie where he's a chef. Oh, that would be good too. Like soul that plane, would be yes, like soul that would be plane, awesome. Yeah, this is the follow up, and it's like soul cooking. Apparently, somewhere out there, there's a black guy Fieri. Yeah, and he's there too with Snoop Dogg getting high, using like like it's a he he just he just cooks edibles. Yes, yeah, yes. that's that's soul cooking to me. But it does and, and to and to the- okay and to reach a larger demographic. Okay. There there are Satanists in that restaurant. 
you know, and Snoop is just like, pay the rent on time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It says something about Christians that they hear soul cooking and go, oh, obviously this is a satanic plot. Mm-hmm. It kind of like uh, a bunch of emails saying we should go to that pizza place. I like that pizza place. We should go to that pizza place. And the right says, well, obviously there's an underground pedophile sex ring. Yes. It's like, okay, well, maybe now we should really be checking your browser history. But, but, but this is how bad they are at research. And this is why they are so motherfucking stupid. Okay? <clears throat> if you were going to concoct a stupid-ass fucking story like that, wouldn't you yeah. have to do a little research to find out if the place actually even had a basement? Yeah, you would need at least the slightest amount of proof. Yeah, I mean, uh, if it had a basement, I might have a doubt. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. If it had a basement, I might go, hmm. Yeah. I, I don't believe the shit they said happened there, but what happened there? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. 